we're gonna do an experiment to see how sugar affects your teeth. So what you're going to need are two hard boiled eggs, two clear cups, a can of soda, some water, and a toothbrush and toothpaste. Let's get started. Pause this video here so you can look at the ready, do, done chart. So you can gather the things that you need and read over the steps that we'll do together. So first I'm going to pour some water in the first cup. That should be about enough. And I'm going to place my egg into the water. We're going to leave our egg in the water for a few hours. What do you think is going to happen to the egg that's in water? Do you think it will change color? Do you think it will sink? Do you think any change at all will happen? Hmm, let's think about it. Next, we're going to add soda to this cup. And again, we're gonna place an egg into the cup. What do you think is going to happen to this egg? It's going in the soda and this soda has 39 grams of sugar. Do you think that sugar is going to change the egg at all? Hmm. Let's think about that. Maybe the egg will get smaller. Maybe the egg will change in color. We shall see. So in this experiment, the eggs represent your teeth and each egg is responding to its different liquid the same way that our teeth would respond. So our teeth in water, if we drink water, they would probably stay pretty white. There's nothing in the water to eat away at our teeth or stain them. But if we look at the egg that's been sitting in the Coke or the dark soda, what changes do we see? And what does that tell us about how soda and sugar affect our teeth? 10 minutes later. All right, guys, guess what? It's only been 10 minutes and I can already see a difference on the eggs. So I'm gonna show you up close. This is the egg that was in the water, obviously, and this one has been sitting in the sugar-filled soda. Can you tell the difference? After 10 minutes, this one already looks darker. I believe if I leave it overnight, it's just gonna get darker and darker still, but I'm gonna try to get some of the staining off using my toothbrush and toothpaste. So let me get some of the things out of my way. And when we're putting toothpaste on our toothbrush, we only need about the size of our pinky fingernail. And very gently making small circles, I'm gonna try to brush off some of this brown staining. Here, I'll pull you closer. You can see it's kind of already coming off. You can see where I brushed. And then comparing it again to our egg that's been sitting in just pure water. The color difference is very noticeable. So I wanna bring this egg back to this color. I'm going to have to brush in small circles for about two to three minutes. And this is why I recommended hard boiling the egg because it might crack while you're handling it. But if you don't wanna hard boil your eggs, really treat your egg delicately. Small circles. And when you're brushing your teeth, 
You really should be doing it as gently as if you were brushing an egg. You don't have to scrub your teeth really, really hard to get them clean. Scrubbing your teeth too hard can actually be damaging. You don't want to wear the enamel off of your teeth and expose the roots, which can be very painful. So when you're brushing your own teeth, don't rush. Just take about two to three minutes and gently scrub as if you were scrubbing a delicate egg that you don't want to break. So the egg is getting cleaner. I'm actually going to rinse it off and see if we can compare it to our egg that was in the water. So again, this egg was in the water. This one was in the soda. It's still got a little bit of debris on it. It's still a little dirty. So we definitely need to brush our teeth really well, making sure we get the whole surface if we wanna make sure we get all those germs and sugar off our teeth. But the experiment is not over. So I've brushed my teeth, I've brushed my egg, and it looks a little bit cleaner. It's not as clean, oop, it's not as clean as the egg that sat in the water. But I wanna see what would happen if I left the egg in the soda overnight. So that would simulate us not brushing our teeth at all, not brushing them in the morning, or at night before bed, just leaving the sugar and dirt and gross food particles on our teeth. Whew, I almost knocked everything over. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in the cup and we will look at it tomorrow. In the meantime, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it will get any darker? Do you think that it might crack? Do you think it might shrink or grow? Start thinking about what you think is going to happen to the egg, and then we will check later. Many hours later. And we're back. So let's check on our eggs. Of course, the egg that was in the water. Ooh, it feels the same. Still sturdy, still white. Let's set that one to the side. Now we're gonna check the one that was in the soda. So it's been soaking in sugar overnight. Let's see. Oh no, it's much browner. So this is what your tooth would be like if you didn't brush your teeth at all and you just kept eating foods that damaged your teeth. We're gonna try to brush this tooth again, Ooh, like we did yesterday. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than the first time when it was just in the soda for 10 minutes. Now it's been in the soda overnight. And you know what, the egg doesn't even feel, it doesn't feel as hard as this egg does. It kind of feels a little bit softer. So I think it, the soda has damaged the, the shell, which would be like the enamel of our teeth. Hmm. I'm not seeing any progress while brushing. I mean, maybe it's a little bit lighter but it's nowhere close to this egg. So that shows us that we reach a point where our teeth, we can't go back to the, what they were. We have to take care of them every day. Yeah, if I was to brush this for as long as it needs to be brushed, I'd be here all evening. So I hope this shows you that it's important to brush your teeth every day, in the morning and at night, and to limit your sugar intake because it can damage your teeth, just like it damaged your egg. So if you wanna try this experiment for yourself, I'd love to see your results. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.